Let's go back to the bridge. I feel stronger. Let's see if I was right about those spectral stains. jump the gap. Your bane rings will help. Can you find the place where the stains align? Another road to nowhere. Can we jump this? Spectral stains are out of reach. I've nothing to work with here. So we find another way. Stupid country. When we get back to New Eden Town, you can make a complaint. That jump was quite something. Ghosts are quite something. But I feel clumsy. I have no idea what I'm doing. You'll master it. You've mastered everything else. No way through here neither, as far as I can see. have gathered around. Why not force them to appear? That's 
nice here and all, but... Present yourself! That's not the ritual I'd have used. Now step from the shadows. <laughs> This isn't over yet. This isn't over yet. Sharpen up. Get the hell out of there! Brought more friends. I have another insight. Lock in here. Time to work, Banisher. Trust me. There are stains. If they line up, perhaps we can jump. I'm sure you can. Just try to be gentle this time. Not quite. Almost it. Mm. 
The putter needs to line up. <sighs> yes! Remind me to close my eyes next time. Mentioned the hunter's camp. It may be close. Something's there. Something alive. Yes. Who are you, and where did you spring from? I've come from New Eden Town. That's a very long way from here, sir. Who are you? My name is Red McCraith. I work for the selectmen of New Eden Town. I'm a banisher. Didn't you and the other one die in the meeting house? I fell in the water. And the tide took me. I survived. Up to now, anyway. I've never seen a banisher before. I expected more. Could I please continue this conversation with my feet on the ground? Easy now. Stop your jiggling. Hold still, I said. Do you try holding still when some lassie's shooting at you? In that oh. case, banish her. You may escape the trap yourself. Wait. What? No, no, come on! Our camp lies downhill. I'll wait for you there. Come back here. Shoot! it! I don't suppose you can help me, can you? That was entertaining. Good to see you smile. Wait. Something's there. Something alive. No. Make this easy for me then.
hard enough. You're done. Signs of life ahead. This must be the camp the rope lady talked about. Doesn't look like much from here. Who was she anyway? Some species of huntress. She took no liking to you. Hard times like these, fewer folk will help a stranger. Fortifications. Grim face is not a good sign. So rest and restock, then onward. To New Eden Town. Come up. I wish a word with you. So, you found us safely, Red McWraith. Aye. Well, thanks to you. I had to know you could look out for yourself. You're welcome to stay until you're told to leave. I'm Kate Newsmith. Far as you're concerned, I'm in charge round here. <sighs> Newsmith? Anything to thick skin? Aye. We're sisters. Me and Antea, we met her in town when we first landed. Thickskin will return from the hunt soon enough. Sorry for your loss, by the by. Why might you tell me to leave? He who don't pitch in pitches out. We'll not go hungry to feed him that don't contribute. Hungry? Child, you have no idea. All right, I'll stay a while. I have certain skills, if they may be of use. Our hearts are low. Nightmares plague our sleep. Do what needs doing, help who needs helping. Well, give me some names. Prudence Hick. A widow, like so many. She cooks. Lately she's cooked shite. He who puts the food aright is a hero indeed. How fares New Eden Town? I'm heading back that way. You're mad. There's no going back. There's not to go back to. We may be all that's left. New Eden Town now is naught but sorrow, pestilence and death. 
Some of our band were homesick. We heard them screaming in the woods. They didn't come back. Something wicked prowls. Folk dream of a murderous beast that'll kill them if they dare to leave camp. There was a second group. They never arrived. Some think the beast got them. Like I say, we may be all that's left. Guilt. Dread. She puts a brave face on it, but the truth is in her eyes. I'll make the rounds. I'll pay my respects to Widow Hake and see what's the bar. If you can't find Prudence, ask Jane. They're close. Also, please check on our blacksmith. His already meagre skills have lately declined. Talk to Jane, talk to Prudence, check the forge. Talk to anyone who needs help, which is probably everyone. Right, got it? One empty cabin remains. A tree fell on it. But you may have what's left. Welcome to the dark woods. I'll take my leave of you for now. Rest. You'll need it for my sister's return. I'll send for you. She seems to like me. Let's find your cabin and see how much. Slept in worse. And it smells better than Jacob Lynn's lean to. Poor lad. I wonder where he'll go. <gasps> there. Now we won't freeze. I won't freeze. Right, let's go make ourselves useful. If the Nightmare is at work here, they'll need us. Forge. Kate said the blacksmith may need help. These nails look brittle. What 
Secrets from the past, Link. What is it? Salt water. It's pulsing. There's something here. Mine, all mine. Mine, all mine. Mine, all mine. That ghost sounds nasty. That ghost sounds obsessed. Drill bit as dull as a hammer. Metalworking isn't easy, but this stuff is surprisingly shite. Can't be easy to maintain a camp with a bad blacksmith. What kind of forge has no tools? There are stains here. I can show you them. Let's finish here first. These nails look brittle. Metalworking isn't easy, but this stuff is surprisingly shite. Can't be easy to maintain a camp with a bad blood. Damn it. <gasps> oh. Forgive me. I ought to startled. Oh well. Ain't you a sight? Who are you, then? Red McCraith, ma'am, the banisher. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Oh, the Scotsman. I like your accent, and I like your manner too. Nelly, Nelly Heaton. A friendly Londoner. I like her already. To the point, madam. Kate Newsmith worries for you, and for your husband too. He around? Fortune left some hours ago, and hasn't come back. I confess I'm beginning to worry. What if the beast got him? Did he not say where he was going? Thick skin has him making nails for the stockade. She presses him, and he feels the weight of it. Could he have gone out in search of material? Doubtful. He's exhausted. He doesn't sleep. He works day and night. It wasn't always so. Coming to New Eden saved us. It saved the marriage. I should go look for your husband. He's no woodsman, so he can't have gone far. Please, 
do find him. I didn't come this far only to lose him now. Can I have a look around your house? Yes, if it helps. Let's trade, Mrs. Eaton. All right, let's. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Welcome. I've enjoyed our chat. It's nice to have someone new to talk with. Good day, Nelly. All the better for your presence, Mr. McRae. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Thank you for your interest, Mr. McCraith. Imaradas and tus. ghost threatening Nelly. That's her husband. It seemed like he was fighting the urge to hurt her. So, the blacksmith has gone missing with his tools. And a saltwater ghost haunts the forge. Let's go find it. Imagine all those years hunting ghosts, how much time we could have saved. Come on, let's go find our blacksmith. Think of the blacksmith and his wife. Well. Aye, let's not spoil the surprise.
Ну, Thank you, whoever you may be, for whatever you have done. I thank you. I thought I was done for. Fortune Heaton, sir, and so very pleased that you came along. Red McCraith, the banisher. Weren't there two of you? There were, yes. As it happens, I've been looking for you. You have? Uh, what for? What are you doing out here anyway? Do you not fear the prowling beast? Oh, I needed a walk, a bit of fresh air, a bit of light. The forge is... Well, it's dark and hot, isn't it? I didn't mean to be a worry. We all enjoy walking the woods while burdened down with smithing tools. Why did you bring your tools? Yeah, why did I bring my tools? Why? Uh, why? Because... Because they're wanted. That's why. I'm sorry, it's just... I'm losing my tiny little mind. And it's them godforsaken tools that's to blame. I start working with them, and then I look up, and half the day's gone, and I am somewhere else entirely, and... <laughs> that's not even the worst of it. When I return to the forge, the work is done. The tools are haunted, and I'm getting rid of them. As deep in the woods as I can go. Did the haunted tools tell you to kill your wife? No. Yes. Maybe. No. I... I would never hurt her. Yes, they told me to hurt her. Maybe. Maybe I'd have hurt her. Can you help us? Yes. But I can't guarantee you'll like the result. I heard you praying. I thought I recognised the text. You did? You sure? Nelly painted him a pious Puritan. Aye. Thought he sounded Catholic. Ah, oh, well, just... Coincidence? <sighs> Look, here's the truth. I'm a convert. I did it for Nelly. I am... was Catholic. It was a convenience, more than a calling. Keep it yourself, please. I need to fit in around here. I'm not here for you. You have other worries. <laughs> Don't I know it. Head for camp. I'll take a look at the tools. Once they're safe, I'll follow. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, Banisher. I'll... <laughs> Thank you. Voices from the past. Wait to be heard. Mine! Mine! Mine, oh mine! The ghost lays claim to the forge and everything in it. The flat of the echo is missing from the toolbox. If it's not around here somewhere, he lied to us. I see the blacksmith has gone. See where the back door leads. Spectral stains heading deeper into the woods. Odds are there's a blacksmith's flatter at the end of the trail.
See that corpse? I could use a ritual. Still confusing your chance? I summon you now! Take on a ghost! Spectre, going for a meat suit. Careful! Try another one. Stay down! God, you're tougher than a gadfly! Did we miss a few? Too soft. Get in its face.
Fortune the blacksmith came deep into the dangerous woods. He's no blacksmith. He's lying. We sent him home. I hope he's no danger to Nelly. What is lurking here? One less to worry about. I feel something close. The hammer. Looks like Fortune tried to get rid of it. The hammer is the ghost tie. Now to retrieve it without breaking my neck. Yes, that would be a shame. We need to look for somewhere to cross. I sense a trap. I sense an echo. All right then, let's trigger the trap. Watch out! Spectre possession! Try this on for size. Oh, I knew it! That's enough, Nelly! I warned you! I warned you this would happen again. No. Oh, look at yourself. You're pathetic. I want a divorce! <laughs> You're now Elizabeth Luxford. You are mine. And I'd sooner see you dead and cold than let you leave. What's going on here? Walk away, lad. This does not concern you. I think it does.
What do you want to do? A lot of birds killed a man with his own hammer. We should talk to his ghost. Through time and distance, I now see. Still confusing your charms? He come forth, Amigiri. We are the Banishers Antea Duarte and Red McRaith. Whose ghost are you? <laughs> Do we really have to listen to this bastard? Nothing good ever comes of talking to the dead. At times I'm tempted to agree. Who are you and what do you want with the blacksmith? <sighs> my forge. My wife. My name. All mine. The bastard stole them. Is he telling us our blacksmiths are fraud? Why are you here? I want what's mine. Stolen away. Pride from my grasp. I want my work. My name. My wife. Your wife is not your property. Ha! She was no one! A drudge who fancied herself a herbalist. <laughs> I plucked her from the dirt. I made her. All right, no. I'll not entertain this man a moment longer. I've had enough of this. Let's go. Now we know why Fortune Heaton died. In fairness, I've heard of worse murders. Nelly and her fellow are haunted yet. And I'm concerned for their safety. Shelter, if you need a fire to warm you up. Could this be a treasure map? Looks like one. Maps don't necessarily lead to treasure. Aye, but what if this one does? Very well. Let's look for this treasure that obviously awaits us.
think Fortune's ghost is here. Let's end this now. You should have said something. Hush! Someone's coming. Vanisha! You're back! Mr. McCrae, my man came back and I hear of you to thank for it. Don't celebrate just yet. I know the truth. Your secret is out. I don't know who you are, sir, but you're not Fortune Heaton. Don't be daft. Haskell hired the Puritan master blacksmith, Fortune Heaton. You're none of those things. You're not him. What do you want? I'd like your side of the story, madam. Very well. What? No. How do we know we can trust him? We don't. But we must take the chance. It's time. On the crossing from England, something happened. What was it? I'd had peace and quiet for weeks since we'd been aboard. Fortune was too sick to do anything. I even made a friend. I thought to myself, maybe. Maybe this new beginning will be good for us. Maybe you'll change. Before we left, I'd sworn he'd never lift a hand to me again. Well, guess what? We didn't plan on killing him. I swear on it. Do you regret it? Do you regret any of it? What would be the point? And if I did, what would be the point of telling you about it? I'd have escaped him, in the end. But I'd have had to die to do it. I only killed him so he wouldn't kill me. The blame is on him, sir. Not me. You're not Fortune Heaton. So, who are you? I am. <laughs> to hell with it. You're right, I'm no blacksmith. I, sir... I'm the fugitive thief, Arthur Carty. But a good man. A repentant, hard-working man. If I am those things, it's because you've shown me it's all right. I'm doing my best to make a better life. Really, I am. What were you running from? Just the legal consequences of my illegal life. You sent me to find your husband, Mrs. Heaton. Find him I did. Your husband's corpse rots on the ocean floor, and his ghost has followed you here. I ripped myself of him once. What shall it take to do it a second time? Fortune Heaton, dead as alive, you fail as a husband. Quick to anger, your cruel brutality left your wife in despair. You treat her as a possession. They stole my name and took my life. Tough. But now you leave Nellie alone. She's not yours and never was. My corpse rots in the cold abyss. My skin crawls with worms as the creatures of the deep consume me. That sounds unpleasant, so it will soon be over. I'm giving you the peaceful way out. Count yourself lucky. There is nothing left for you here. Tell the others. 
Will you expose us? Will I spill your secret to the camp? No, I won't. My eternal gratitude to you, sir. Thank you. So? I've done my rounds, as you asked. And? The blacksmith and his wife were haunted by an angry ghost. It won't be coming back. I suppose I shall believe you. Anything else to report? Other hauntings are likely. I've no particulars as yet. All right. So, I'll thank you kindly, Mr. McWraith. You've done your part and earned your place. My sister should soon return. She'll surely want to meet you. Until then, you may stay. I'll take my leave. I do. Kate came by. Thick skin is back and wants to see you. Why did she not wake me? Perhaps she resented playing the messenger. Perhaps she just wanted to make you late. She was vexed. Thick skin return has upset her. Kate reminds me of my sister. Aoife. Mm, Clan McCraith's little spitfire. Always at my heels. Or giving father's guards all kinds of hell. <laughs> she was a wee thing. But strong. More big men in armour didn't he scare her. She had more brains than I, and more wild too. <laughs> In sparring, she'd beat me, Andy. She 
She would have made a fine swordswoman, and she grown. Someday I'd like to meet my brother and sister. I'm sorry. Your what? Twins. By my mother's letters, they must be eight years old. You never told me this. You never asked. I had no idea you got letters from home. My mother writes once a year. The letters take months to find me, if they find me at all. Until now, I've given it little thought. What are their names? Ugh. What? I'm interested, that's all. You're bothersome. Ayomide is my sister. Temi is my brother. <laughs> Three Duarte children walk the world. God help us. Good boy. Now that you can count to three, we can move on to four. I hope the twins have more charm than you do. Did I mention thick skin was waiting for you? All right, all right. I'm going. 